Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryan here, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this Cisco certification video practice exam on CCNA level switching, and I think you NP candidates ought to take this one as well. As always, with the video practice exams, I'm going to present you with four questions. We're going to go through them pretty quickly because I want plenty of time to review the answers with you and also show you a little bit of bonus material here on live Cisco switches. So we're just not going to be going over the answers, but we'll actually be seeing them in action. As always, all of my multiple choice questions are the dreaded choose all that apply. Uh, I know none of us like those when we're practicing, but you'll thank me on exam day. It is good practice. Let's jump into question one here. Which of the following does a Cisco switch consider first when a frame enters a port? Which of those does it consider first? Let's move on to question two. Which of these port security modes can result in what we call an error disabled port? And for extra credit, tell me which one of those are actual valid port security modes. Let's go to question three. Which of the following phrases or words best describes VLAN 900 on a Cisco switch? And then finally, question four, of router interfaces and switch ports on Cisco routers and switches, which are open by default? That's actually a bit of a security concern on top of something that can drive you a little crazy, uh, which we'll look at here in just a moment as well, but which of those are open by default? Let's jump back to question one, which of the following does the Cisco switch consider first? When a frame comes into a port, it's logical on one level to think, well, it's going to look at the destination MAC address because we're looking at switches here and frames, so we're definitely dealing with MAC addresses. So we know that A and B are incorrect. And while the switch is going to eventually look at the destination of the MAC address, the switch will first look at the source MAC address. A couple of reasons there. First off, that is the value that a Cisco switch uses to build its MAC address table to begin with. And also, you can also use that source MAC address as a kind of password for port security. So before the switch even looks at the destination MAC to decide how to handle the frame from there, it's going to look at the source MAC address. And if you're running port security, it may be saying, well, should I be handling this frame at all? Should I be accepting any frames coming in on this port? Speaking of port security, the valid modes that you see here are A and D, shut down and protect. There's also a restrict mode, but ERR and put down, those are not valid port security modes. And the one that by default can result in an error disabled mode is A, shut down. And that is the default port security mode as well. With question three, let's bring up the live equipment here for a moment and take a look at what VLAN 900 is. So let's run, you can run show VLAN, and I'll go ahead and run that one first. And as you can see, it's uh, quite verbose here. That's just a fancy way of saying you get a lot of information. And frankly, while some of this information down here under VLAN type and set and MTU can be important, you could literally go a long time in your career without even needing that information. What you really are looking at when you're running the show VLAN command most likely is the information up here at the top. So what I like to run is show VLAN brief. And that's just going to give you the information at the very top of the show VLAN command. You'll see there is no VLAN 900 by default. And the reason I ask that particular question is that sometimes when I ask my students in my webinars, uh, you know, what are the default VLANs, everybody names that one. And that's great, but keep in mind that you do have other default VLANs. And again, these VLANs may be VLANs that you never use in your entire career. And there's nothing wrong with that, but for your exams, I would know what the default VLANs are. And just to show you, just as you can't, uh, let's, try, let's say I try to put no VLAN 1. I try to actually delete that one. I'm going to get a message, default VLAN 1 may not be deleted. That's fine, but what if I try to delete uh, 1004? Almost the same message, of course, it's going to say default VLAN 1004 can't be deleted, but again, the switch is telling you that that's a default VLAN, and that's good information for you to keep in mind. So here, uh, it does not exist 
by default VLAN 900 and it's strictly optional. You don't need it for anything, it's not reserved for anything, but the reason again I mentioned that particular VLAN is to show you that you don't just have one reserved VLAN on a Cisco switch, you've actually got five. Question four. Of router interfaces and switch ports on Cisco devices, which are open by default? Well, we know that router interfaces are not open by default. And let's go up to a router here, and it's router 2, and I'll run show interface E0. And this is the dreaded administratively down phrase. It's one of the first things you learn, really, when you start studying Cisco routing. This means that the interface is manually shut down and to open it you've got to run the no shutdown command but you're not going to find those on a switch and I'll bounce back out to that switch we were just on and even if nothing's connected to a Cisco switch port and I'll pick uh, 05 here I don't have anything connected to this port so we are seeing that it's down and the line protocol is down but you'll notice it does not say the port is administratively down you can shut a port down on a Cisco switch with no problem and if it's gone into error disabled mode you're going to have to do that to basically reset the interface but it is an important security concept as well to remember that on Cisco switches those ports are open by default so you may want to close the ports on a Cisco switch that you're not using. Thanks for taking just a few minutes of your day to watch this particular video. I invite you out to the Bulldog blog at thebrianadvantage.blogspot.com. We've got over 100 free videos just as we do on YouTube, free webinars, fully illustrated tutorials, links to the main website at thebrianadvantage.com that will help you pass your CCNA and CCNP exams as well. Again, thanks for watching this video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933.